Well, and then we'll go back and show you some up close uh, construction photos and a fun video that we planned for you. So right now I'm going to turn over to Susie Keeley, who has built several of our roller coasters and attractions here at Bush Gardens and at Water Country USA. Um, she and I have been here for about 31 years, to 31 years each of us. We were children. We, we were children. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, yes, I was 15. Yes. Yeah. So um, I'll turn it over to Susie. And again, thanks for coming. I apologize for not being able to go out. Mother Nature didn't cooperate. Of course, she's cooperating now. <laughs> um, but it's for your own safety that we don't go to the site. And I don't want you slipping and falling. Um, and that's what the site foreman told us this morning. So. With that, let's have some fun and enjoy Pantheon. Thank you. So you guys ready to ride it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe next week. I, I mean, not, not a quick <laughs> <time>. <laughs> next time you come. But, um, the skyline's changed a little bit. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you who have been at Bush Gardens before, and I know many of you have been here a lot, but, um, you know, you can still see Apollo's Chariot, you can see Tempesto. We got Griffin, we got um, Alpen guys. I mean, it really, really is turning into a lot of coasters. This will be our ninth ride, ninth coaster here at Bush Gardens. So we're really excited, probably as much as you, <laughs> maybe not as much, but anyway, uh, to, to look forward to ride it. Um, we started construction in May. Um, of course, way before that, we were working on permits and uh, you know, plans and bidding and all that kind of stuff. Um, shovel to the ground started in May. Um, we spent all summer putting in over 850 piles. Um, underneath all those foundations, there are several piles, steel piles that go down in the ground like 40, 50 feet. It's really amazing. Um, I know that's not, you know, kind of real exciting for you guys, but it's really something to see. Luckily, this was uh, kind of off in the distance from the rest of the park because the pile driving is like a constant bing, bing, bing. <laughs> so, you know, we were a little bit worried about the sound. I think uh, Gary Petra, our sound engineer, turned the sound up maybe in Italy and uh, Festa, so we didn't hear so much of that. But um, they've made a lot of progress, obviously, since then. We have almost all the track up. Um, we actually had to leave a section of track out so the crane could get in and out. There's still some pieces that, uh, that have to be put in on this side, but um, for the most part, I'd say it's probably 95% up. So with that, we're going to finish out the foundations in the next couple weeks, uh, put in the rest of the track, and then we're going to start ride testing. That'll be the next, next uh, phase of uh, you know, the project. Um, after that, you guys probably know we do we do a lot of uh, our own operations testing, and uh, then while that's going on, our theming gets installed. Uh, we can't put our theming in now because it'll get destroyed, and a lot of it's kind of uh, layered on top of some of the other structures. Uh, station building still not quite finished yet. Um, the electricians are busy pulling all the cables and stuff into the electrical building. Um, I wish I could show you that, but unfortunately we couldn't get out there. But it's like spaghetti sometimes, the amount of cabling that goes into it. Um, there are two launch locations, and there's uh, the, a lot of the cables have to go to the, the skaters. Okay, you know, um, Loch Ness Monster and some of the older rides, they have the, uh, the chain lifts. Okay, so that's how the car gets to the top, and then gravity pretty much takes it out. This one, you can control it. This type of coaster, you can control it a lot better. So there's uh, magnetic launches that, you know, there's uh, magnets on the bottom of the car, magnets on the launch, and it pretty much propels you forward. So in this one, we have the, you come out of the station, there's the first launch, and then there's a outer side roll that's actually gonna come uh, so over on the other side of these trees, but it uh, comes a little bit closer to the water. Then it goes back toward the station um, to the second launch. Second launch is going to propel you part way up. You can see the top hat. It's underneath this first loop. It's kind of beyond there. That's the top hat. But the, uh, the, that launch propels you part way up the hill toward the top hat. And then you actually come backwards and you're launched again. <coughs> so you pick up more speed back to the fire. And I don't know if you can see it from here. You definitely can see it from the other side of the bridge. So as you walk back to the fest house, make sure you look for that. 
that's actually 178 feet tall. You're gonna go backwards up 90 degrees and you're gonna catch a little air time there. So hold your stomach. <laughs> I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Elizabeth can attest to that, right? And then um, you're gonna come down again. There's a switch track, the, the fast switch track they call it. And it, it's two seconds it only takes you to move the, move the track. But where you come in and go up, and it has to switch back so you could go back backwards up to the spire. And you're going to go forward again, get enough speed to go over the top hat, come down 95 degree drop. And at that point, when you get to the bottom, you're going to reach, reach your top speed of 73 miles per hour. From there, you come out to an outer bank turn, right? Yeah. The names are kind of changed a little bit here. so, And then, um, that's uh, that's going to take you into this uh, Camelback Hill inversion. So that's your second inversion. And then you'll come back into the station. So really nonstop action from beginning to end. Yep. Uh, there's so many elements that we're combining. So as you're a rider, you're just going to wonder, gosh, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And um, it's just going to keep you so excited to the point where you're going to come back in the station go, whew, what did I just do? And then you go back in line and do it again, right? <laughs> so that's kind of what, uh, how we're, we're hoping that it is. Um, again, we're almost there. When it gets to this point, everybody's like, oh, well, you're going to open in March, right? Well, obviously, there's a lot of, uh, even once the track's up, there's a lot of electrical, mechanical, um, you know, got to get the grass growing, um, finish the grading, and and the steaming, so there's put the sidewalks in that kind of thing. But uh, we're we're looking at spring, sometime spring 2020, and we'll definitely keep you posted on that.